Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about Michael's Room, a project we've been at, what, Michael, two, three months, four months probably, something like that. So it's really been a great project. We've, we've learned a lot. I think Michael's learned a lot. I definitely have about setup and uh, treatment. Plus I got to uh, design and test uh, some new technology. So let's walk through what we did. Michael's got a nice setup, 5.1 setup which I think everybody should have. Skip this 7, 8, 10, 12, 14 channels, please. No more energy in our rooms. Keep it simple. If you keep it simple and you treat the room, you'll get so much more out of a smaller system than you will stuffing a bunch of speakers in a small room. Now I know the big trend today is the Atmos system where the mix engineers are moving sounds around in different places of the room. Well, that's great. That's great for them. But what they're not realizing is that we got to translate that on the other side in our rooms. And I'm seeing all kinds of crazy stuff come across my desk. I'm seeing five, six channels in the speakers, in the ceiling, in six and a half foot rooms, ceiling heights. It's like four inches over my head, five speakers. Now, I don't like the word common sense, but let's use it here common sense, you're not going to hear any of those speakers. They're six inches over your head. Even when you're sitting, they're two or three feet. There's not going to be any separation, okay? I don't care how the engineer moves the sound around. So, Michael's got great small monitors, the AR speakers, uh, 18, 20 year old speakers, and they're small, which I love because they have more detail and resolution, and I'm all about resolution. I want to hear everything. I think most people do. They want to hear everything, but they don't know really what that is because they've never heard everything. What they hear in their systems is what they hear without realizing maybe there's more that they could get. Well, there's a lot more, trust me. Okay. So Michael's system setup was 15 to 200 or 1500 to 2000 in gear costs years ago. Consumer type products. And what we did was, through the whole project, we punched up everything uh, to about 15,000. <laughs> because I got a hold of it. And once I get a hold of it, I'm going to keep pushing until I get what I want. So we've five, six, seven times Michael's original cost. But the sound quality has definitely been worth the cost. And uh, watch the videos. Uh, we, we're going to do a series. I think we're at seven now. We'll probably be eight when we're finished. And hopefully we can put all of those links on this project page. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how the mechanics of all this internet stuff works, but my people will take care of that. So it's a nice project. We take the front wall, we treat it. We take the primary reflections. We treat them with our foam technology. We take the secondary and tertiary reflections from the side walls. We treat those, then we treat the rear wall. Then we add the speaker stands, the new technology for low frequency management. We move the sub around and we have new uh, subwoofer platforms uh, underneath the sub, which you'll be able to see. So we really went after the room in terms of treatment. We didn't really focus on the low end other than moving the subwoofer and positioning it correctly, which made a huge difference. Um, almost better than any treatment you could do for sure. And that's something you can do that doesn't cost anything. So the speaker stands, there's some new uh, technology I've created, a little bit different uh, layout on the inside, multiple uh, compartments with a couple different types of our carbon technology inside. So our foam was used in our foam frame panels and, you, and you'll be able to see that uh, as you watch the video. So these are our six foot foam sizes and uh, really worked well in his room. It's a living room listening room. Well, you know my, my thoughts on that. It's difficult to get good sound, but we sure made a big improvement in this room. So it was a great project. Uh, watch the attached videos. If not, watch the YouTube channel and you'll see Michael's Room Part 1, Part 2, and all of that. And then you can uh, see what we did step by step. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. 
And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.